Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I figured I would sit down today and show you guys what I got because I've been piling up stuff on my floor and I just really need to organize and put things away. So that, and I also just want to show you guys what I've gotten over the past couple of weeks, I guess you can say. I feel like I always say it's not too much stuff and then it ends up being a really long video. Also, just excuse my voice, I'm kind of losing it. And this is just real.com. I have a little bit of powder and mascara and that's that. My hair is up in a bun. So we're just going to roll with it. just going to show you guys what I got. Can't be on point all the time, you know. I just got to be you. So first up we have Zara. I went to the Zara in Roosevelt Field Mall, I think it was, with my friend Carla. And I'm really excited about this because, okay, let me explain to you the story. I had ordered these shoes and I posted them on Instagram and I had a size 6. But for some reason they just weren't fitting my foot, like... They were just meant for like really thin feet and I have very wide feet. So I paid about like $90 for them I want to say and then I ended up having to return them because they weren't fitting. I remember seeing someone post that they were on sale so when I saw them I was like let me just give this one a shot again and they ended up fitting. Um, these are the six and a half. Aren't these just so gorgeous? They're just like lace up beautiful like royal blue heels. They kind of have like a bra closure in the back. Um, where it has like little hooks, but really really pretty and guess what? This is the best part. I got them for $30. $29.99 and you really can't beat that with a stick. I know you guys always point out my shoes in my um, bookshelf back there, which most of my shoes are Lola Chutique, Zara, and that's about it, I guess. Um, most of them are black and nude, so pop of color, boom, 30 bucks, can't go wrong, six and a half, and they're pretty comfortable like when I was trying them on because they do have a pretty short heel so definitely check out your Zara see if they still have these because they're just so pretty like you could even rock these in the fall like I rock sandal heels in the fall just saying I like high heels but I usually only wear like sandal heels and if they're pumped they're usually like pointed and no platform in the front that's just my style um, but those are just to die for next item I am so excited for I'm not gonna be able to show you guys it on just because I'm sitting here with like so much stuff around me but I will definitely be wearing it once it gets a little colder here in New York and it's fall time so I'm so excited to rock this like you guys have no idea when I saw it I was like I need to have this blazer okay this blazer is about to throw off my lighting real quick but um, this just is like the prettiest blazer it doesn't look cute on camera at all like it's super wrinkled looks huge this doesn't look that flattering on camera um, but it has like these really cute like wrinkled sleeves and I tried it on in the store and I fell in love. It also has like a padded shoulder. This blazer was 129 Yeah, just 129 And I got a size medium. I could have done with a small because it is already oversized, but it's okay. I could always get it tailored, so I figured I would go up a little bit. So I did get a size medium, but I feel like it's just going to look so good on Instagram. Not really on here because it just looks like a big, huge, white, oversized blazer, which doesn't look that good on camera in this little space, so... Moving on. So I went to Nordstrom Rack and I saw these. I actually wore these yesterday so they're a little bit dirty. When I saw these up at the top, size 6, I was like, need to have them. They're BCBG and they're these brown heels right here. I wore them yesterday. They were pretty comfortable. They're just like a lace-up design, have a zipper in the back. They're just really well made. Originally, I want to say these were like 140 and I bought them for $69.95, I think. Or it was in the $60 or $70 range. But they're just so cute and comfortable because the heel is not that big. I'm not really like a six inch heel kind of girl at all. Like I just, I fail miserably at walking in heels when they're really high. So these were definitely a must for me when I saw them. I knew I had to have them. So again, they're BCBG and I got them at Nordstrom Rack. So as you guys know, Macy's carries Anastasia Beverly Hills. And originally I was just so stuck on not getting this palette. This is the World Traveler Shadow Couture palette. But I do collect them, like all the palettes. I have the Lavish, the Amrezi, and the Artist palette. I don't have Maya Mia, and I think I'm missing another one. But I picked this up mainly because, one, it was like really inexpensive, and I felt like getting single shadows was just getting too pricey. So this is just like a way better deal, and I love the colors. Tell me these first four don't just scream Rosita. Like, warm, matte beautiful colors but well, one of them is shimmery then you have pops of color and I'm just really excited to use these I already own pink champagne soft peach 
and then Morocco is actually inside of the Amrezi um, palette but I still wanted to get it really really excited to use this I actually used it yesterday I was doing makeup for a wedding and I used soft peach Morocco and fudge they blend out really pretty and I did like an all matte kind of classic look so fell in love with it like I'm so obsessed I feel like I'm just gonna be using that palette then I also picked up two liquid lipsticks the first one I picked up is called dusty rose I originally went in for Veronica I don't think they had it or I just forgot to ask for it but this is dusty rose it's a really pretty dusty rose color and I'll go ahead and swatch it in the tube it kind of looks like a darker version of pure Hollywood it's more of a like mauve pinky nude it's not like a flat nude so that's dusty rose and it just looks like a dusty rose kind of color like a mauve almost like pure Hollywood but a lot darker so really excited to use that I feel like I can use it a lot on my clients because most clients don't really like that like light mist kind of nude lip so I'm always on the hunt for like darker nudes and then I picked up trust issues I was originally like contemplating this because I have so many dark shades that I don't wear just because I feel like on me this doesn't flatter my lips and my lip shape um, but every time I wear dark lips everyone seems to like it and I don't know I just I was just influenced but it's not totally dark in the packaging but when you swatch it on your hand it's pretty dark and when these dry they dry super matte like I remember swatching this in Macy's and then walking around and these dry really really matte so this is Trust Issues and this is Dusty Rose Trust Issues is a really nice burnt burgundy color it has like some redness to it but in the packaging it looks like it's gonna be a light color um, but I still like it nonetheless I definitely still want to get Veronica and then there's another in sepia but those are the only two I picked up at Macy's they definitely add up like you pick up like three things from Anastasia and your total is like ridiculous so I just was like okay I'm gonna get two liquid lipsticks and one shadow palette also sorry if I sound really like mellow and down in this video I'm just really exhausted um, and it's just been like a really rough week, so hence the haul. Um, but I still wanted to talk to you guys. I still want to interact with you guys. And I'm just here showing you the real me. So let's move on. I also went to Ulta. And I actually behaved. I didn't do too much damage. I had like $9 off, which was really awesome. Um, I picked up, I originally went in just for this. I picked up the Zoya 3-in-1 Formula Remove Plus Nail Polish Remover. Love this nail polish remover. It's about $10, which is kind of pricey for a nail polish remover. Knowing that you can just get one at CVS or something for like 2 bucks. You know when you remove your nail polish and they're left really like dry and you can almost see like lines and stuff? Like this one doesn't do that. It really just leaves them like hydrated in a really weird way. It says it has extended polish wear guaranteed. So maybe it'll help with my nail polish lasting. I actually don't have any nail polish on right now. I'm letting them breathe. So... I feel really proud of myself for that. Then I got the Real Techniques uh, 2 Miracle Complexion Sponges. I had tried this a long time ago and did not like it. I felt like it was way too stiff even when it was wet. So when I've been baking lately, what I've been doing is using like my beauty blender with my concealer. And then I bake with a dry sponge instead of just using that same sponge. I've tried the little like wedges, like cosmetic wedges. And it's just not, I don't know, I just don't like it. It doesn't pack on. But I like using a dry sponge to like really excessively apply the powder. So I picked up these because they were two for $10 and why not? When you're freelancing or just if you're like a beauty junkie, like it's always good to have more sponges. While I was in the nail polish section, I also picked up the Sech Beats Dry Fast Top Coat. I left mine at the salon and I don't remember which salon it was, but I love this top coat. It really dries my nails super duper quick. Like I do my... um. Sally Hansen Big Shiny Top Coat and then I asked them to put this on. When you go to the nail salon, they charge you like $2 here in New York for them to use their set to on you. So I'd rather just buy one and bring it with me, but I have to remember not to lose it or not to forget it at the salon. But um, yeah, pretty random, but I picked up a top coat. And then last but not least, I picked up this brush. This is the Japanese Fluff Concealer brush that's expertly designed to conceal and perfect. I saw Desi say that this was like a really good concealer brush and I was just in the Japanese section. And let me know if you guys have tried any other brushes from this line. It just looks so fluffy. Like I've been dying to try this since I bought it. I really have been just like, bros, get to filming because I really want to use this brush. It's so cute. Like it's like a mini one. I don't know if this is like a travel size. I don't think so. I think this is just like the normal size but it's tiny I mean for a tiny hand like me it works but if you probably have larger hands you're probably gonna hate the size of the handle but it's just like a really nice like duo fiber but it has really long white bristles because you know some duo fibers if the bristles are short 
So this will really just fluff out any concealer. I'm like super excited to use this. I've been dying to do my makeup just so I can use this. So I will keep you guys updated on how I like this little brush. Next at Sephora, I only picked up two items and I got the Buxom White Brush and Lip Gloss. This is like an oldie but a goodie. You guys have seen me use this so many times. If you've been on my channel for a while, this was like my go-to gloss back in the day. And I haven't had one in a while. I actually went in for the Dior Lip Maximizer, but they were out of stock, which was really weird. Um, yeah, so I ended up just getting this one instead. This is just a plumping, like slightly plumping gloss. But I really just get it because it's like so minty and so fresh. And it's just like a really pretty like pinky color. On the swatch, like lip glosses usually don't show up. But it's just like a really shiny like pinky nude top coat. I love it because I can wear it alone or I can wear it with a lipstick. And it doesn't like alter my lipstick. It's not too sticky. But it's sticky enough to last. So this is also really cooling on the lips. It really just like tingles and feels all like cool. I also went in to get the Benefit What's Up Soft Focus Highlighter. Packaging is so cute for Benefit. This has like this little slide case. Like I'm such a sucker for packaging so that really gets me. But let's see if I can get this out. So this is a cream highlight and I actually cheated a little. I used it yesterday so if you follow me on Snapchat and you saw my highlight yesterday, it was popping. And I basically use this as a base so what I did was I just took my finger, boom. So I took this base and then I applied my highlight on top and it really lasted all day, which I really liked. And yeah, I think the other side is just like a smudger, which I'm probably not gonna use, like something to blend it. But I love the packaging on this, it's so different. And again, this is called What's Up. What's Up, like light bulb? No, what's? No. And as a 100 point perk, I got this little like buxom shadow. This is the tiniest thing in the whole world. Like what is that? It's so tiny. This is in the shade Mink Magnet. And it's so teeny tiny. You never really run out of shadows. So I figured I would just use 100 points on it just so I can try it out. And it's kind of like a sheer gunmetal, like a sheer wash of color that you can just do all over the lid. You guys can see that right there. It's just... Really simple, really pretty, but you can really like intensify it with some Fix Plus and like really packing it on the lid and have like a really pretty like gunmetal smoky eye. So, so tiny and so cute. Watch me never use it. <laughs> Next up we have e.l.f. I only picked up two items at the mall. And now they have e.l.f. at CVS, which is really cool. But I picked up the blush, baked blush in Pinktastic because I've heard this is a really good like highlight color even though it's supposed to be a blush and it has some like pink swirls in it this was only three dollars and I know Kathleen uses it and a whole bunch of other people like online were saying it's a great highlight so let's swatch not that I need any more highlights you guys saw in my video so here is the elf pink tastic and it is really pretty camera is totally washing it out but it's this color right here and it definitely does look like it's going to be a great highlight. I mean, I'm really excited. Again, it was only $3, so you really can't go wrong. And then I picked this up because I want to do an olive green tutorial. This is their cream eyeliner in the shade Metallic Olive. And I'm really excited to do, like, an olive tutorial on, like, back-to-school, fall-appropriate colors. I also like cream eyeliners because you can use them as bases for smoky eyes. Even though they can be a little drying, it's just, like, this really pretty olive like it almost looks brown or almost looks black but it's not it's olive and I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here and it's so gorgeous like I love the color olive and I love wearing the color olive but why not wear olive on my eyes too so this is it right here and again this is called metallic olive I did want to get the other one it was like a plum color they have a couple um, I've heard that the black one is like a favorite amongst many people but I wanted to do a little different and got the olive instead of just getting like a regular black so next up we have these cover effects custom infusion drops and I have four of them I have the lemongrass one which is for radiance the chamomile for calming the neroli for hydration and then the jasmine for anti-aging so basically these drops you just put some into like your skincare regimen whether it's your lotion or your serum or any of your skincare and then you just kind of mix it up and you apply it now that's what I have on my skin right now I used the neroli and I've used it a couple of times but I like use a generous amount because I really like that like hydrated look and I am so obsessed with this one the neroli one I also really like the radiance one but yeah i'm just trying these out so cover effects did send these to me so i'm just kind of testing them out 
But so far, I've really been enjoying the Neroli. I've just been like using it every single day with my Clinique Dramatically Different Lotion. And it just gives you like a really nice glow. But it doesn't look like dewy or oily or sweaty. Your skin kind of just soaks it up and drinks it and it just looks really good. So loving that. On Snapchat, I did like talk about it and show you guys what it looked like. So you guys really seem to like how it looked. Next up, we have some hair care and... I got a whole bunch of stuff from Alpha Parf. I picked up two and then I was gifted two from my friend Nella who does my hair. I posted a post on Instagram if you want to see like her work and stuff. She actually cut my extensions and I'm obsessed but I'm not obviously wearing them today but anyway I'm rambling. So these are the items that I now have from Alpha Parf. The first item is the Semi Lindo Moisture Split End Recovery Fluid. I have the Reconstruction Anti-Breakage Daily Fluid for Damaged Hair. And then I have the Reconstruction Reparative Shampoo and the Reconstruction Reparative Mask. So Nella really swears by Alpha Parf. She sells them at her salon, which she just opened. So definitely check out my Instagram and go support her. She loves Alpha Parf. Let me know if you guys love Alpha Parf. I never even heard of it before meeting her, so she definitely put me on to those. When I was at Ricky's, I, this was probably like two weeks ago or a week ago, I picked up this Oribe... Is that how you say it? Oribe? Oribe? Foundation mist. Foundation mist for your hair, not your face. Isn't that so cool? Like when I first saw it, I thought like, wow, they're making skincare items or makeup, but they're not. So basically this is just like, I don't know how to explain it. It says you can spray it on dry hair before styling or anytime after or as a style refresher. So it's kind of like a dry shampoo, but it's not at all. It kind of just makes it look like you did your hair, but you didn't. It's so strange, but I've really been liking it. And one of you guys suggested it to me while I was at Ricky's and I've really been enjoying it. It's kind of weird how it works, but it works. So I ain't knocking it. And then I also picked up this Kardashian Beauty Black Sea Dry Oil at Ricky's. This was $16.50 and this is paraben free. And it's basically just a really rich, thick oil. I've been on the hunt for oils. I love putting oils in my hair. Not too much, but just a little bit like on my ends. I feel like it really just helps my hair. So I will have a hair care routine up. I'm really just trying to narrow down my hair products to like what really works for my hair type. Everyone's hair is different. Everyone's hair reacts differently to different things. So I've been buying a lot of hair care items and I know it might seem like I'm bombarding my hair but I'm just kind of just figuring out what works with it and I don't just use all this in one day. I also got these Moroccan Oil Moisture Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. Really excited to use these because they smell so good and I love the Moroccan Oil brand in general like I'm obsessed. I have some of their sun care items, like their, um, what is it, tanning lotions, and just so amazing. I can't wait to talk to you guys about those, even though summer is almost over. And then I got the Moroccan Oil Restorative Hair Mask. So they actually sent this one to me, and this is from their repair line. And my friend Wendy put me onto this. She told me, like, you need it, and they actually sent it to me. So it's the one with the orange cap. Thank you, Moroccan Oil. You guys are awesome, but I love the scent of their products. You guys really love their line, too. So I'm super excited to like wash my hair so I can use this and try this out because, I don't know, I feel like it's really going to work. <laughs> then I also got sent this from Too Faced. Ah, isn't it so cute, like this little box? It's the Stardust by Vegas Nay box, I guess you can say, kit, which is really cool. It has two parts. So you open it up and there's two little compartments. So this kit has two pieces to it and it says Too Faced and Instagram Superstar. Vegas Nay have teamed up for the perfect hashtag worthy collaboration, an exclusive palette with 12 stunning matte and shimmer shadows, a glittering glamour dust, deluxe sizes of the best selling shadow insurance, and better than sex mascara, and 6 original looks created by the social media sensation herself. But don't stop there, the options are limited, and yeah. So basically it's just like this little book kind of deal. You get this really pretty layout with a picture of Vegas Nay herself, she's amazing. Mind blowing work. like just stunning 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 so on one side I have this palette so this is a stardust palette and this is what it looks like I haven't actually like looked at it or like played with it but I'm just super excited like this color right here is calling my name for a tutorial okay this is definitely washing out but I just can't wait to use this purple for a smoky eye and this color is really calling my name too it's like a lilac -y color might as well just swatch another one too I can't wait to wear these colors. Just really, really pretty and pigmented, so another palette to add to my collection. You get this tiny little version of the Better Than Sex Mascara, perfect for your purse. 
I love this mascara. I actually do have it on today. Not the mini one, but the, like a regular full size, and I'm obsessed with that mascara. And then this little Glamour Pot, or Glamour Dust, in Nude Beam. You guys know I'm a sucker for anything gold, anything shimmery. And it's kind of like a gold, silver, and purple reflect. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Like, I can't. Are you guys seeing that? Like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but in person, it's literally so glittery and so beaming. So pretty, like it's so glittery. And I love things like this. Like you can just add this to any look, like right on top, and you got yourself a nice glittery look. So I love that. And then you also get this mini Too Faced Shadow Insurance, which I do like. And then really cute, you get these little inspiration cards. So definitely gonna try to like recreate one of these. Or maybe all of these. So pretty awesome. Thank you Too Faced for my goodies. As always, you guys hook it up and you guys always hold me down. So thank you. Then from LA Girl, they actually sent me a whole bunch of goodies. I Snapchatted this and I was just like in awe. I got all of their concealers, which are like a cult favorite. Everyone loves these concealers too. Contour, highlight, sculpt, conceal, like everything. And I also got their correctors. I got the green and then the little like orange peachy one. So, boom, I got all of the concealers, all the shades, which is really awesome. Thank you, LA Girl, for that. I also got their whole LA Girl Matte Flat Velvet Lipsticks, and I guess it's a total, I don't know how many, I don't know how many are in here, but it's the full line of their Matte Flat Lipsticks, so that's that. Then I got a whole bunch of their lip liners, which are also a favorite amongst many, so I got that, and then they sent me... All four of their like blush cheek palettes. So you've got Spice, you've got Glow, Glam, and then Pinky. So I'm not going to show you guys each one. I'll just use them in tutorials. But also have heard really great things about these. So I'm super, super excited to use these. I've also heard really good things about this Pro BB Cream Makeup by Lena Baby. She uses these and she loves it. So got three of those. Then today in the mail, I got this Pixi Glow Tonic Exfoliating Toner, which has 5% glycolic aloe vera and ginseng. So it's just this mini little toner, so I'm going to test it out, see how I like it. And then I also got this in the mail, which is from Galactic, and I love Galactic. I love Galactic, especially Galit, the founder. She is so sweet. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right, like, so embarrassing if I'm not. Um, but she sent me the Face Glow in the shade Bronze, and perfect because I'm getting a little tan. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I actually just dropped mine, and it got a little smudge, a little scratch. I'm super anal about my stuff, and I totally just, like, nicked it and dropped it. Um, but this is the shade Bronze, and it's a really pretty bronze color. I did the world's largest swatch. But it's this really beautiful beaming bronze glow. Just absolutely stunning. And this is, again, their face glow in the shade bronze. Then she also sent me seven of the new matte lip paints. And I'm super excited to use these. Like, you guys have no idea. So the first one is called Flirtatious. And I honestly have, like, no room to swatch. But I'm going to just go ahead and swatch them here. So this is the first color. It's called Flirtatious. And it's a really pretty, almost like coral red color. So, so gorgeous. Next up we have Starlet, which looks absolutely stunning on everyone that I see rock it. And this is a really pretty, like, wearable color. It's just really gorgeous, like an everyday pinky color. I'm doing, like, the world's largest swatches, and I don't know why. This is such a horrible swatch, but this is called Starlet, and it's a pretty, like, dusty rose. So, super excited for that one. Then we have the shade Iconic which is this really gorgeous, like, fireball, hot, hot tamale, like, big red. You like my descriptions? Just, like, a super bright, fun color. Really, really pretty. Then we have the shade Demure, and this is a really pretty brown, almost like Kylie lip, I guess you can say, but super, super pretty for fall. I believe I have this shade in my collection. This one's called Demure. The swatches are about to just come up to my armpit, I swear. But this one is called Demure. Then we have the shade Allure. Ooh, this one's really pretty too. It's also a beautiful fall color. 
This one's a lot like rosier than the other one. So this one's Allure and not to be confused with Demure, which is here. It's Allure, Demure, and really, really pretty. I don't know what I'm doing with these swatches right now, but let's just roll with it. Then we have this one, which is called Stripped, which I already know I'm gonna love because it's a nude color. So this one's a really pretty nude peachy color. You guys know I love my nudes, so I swear, I don't know what was going on here. This is this is happening right now. This is happening. This one's called Stripped, and it's a really pretty, like, nudey peach. This next one is called Blushing. This is perfect for, like, weddings, brides. It's just like a blushing bride kind of shade. And it's totally wearable, probably more wearable than Stripped. So this one is Blushing, right over here. And now we just have swatch party on our arms right now. I just wanted to show you guys the stuff that I've gotten in the mail so I can put everything away and put it to use. So that's it for this video. Hopefully it wasn't like a total fail. I will be filming the look that I had on in my highlight collection video next. So that one's going to come up next. That's using the Morphe palette with the secret giveaway in that one. Just saying. So that one's next, but let me know what you want to see after that. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.